sponsored by CYC Chen Xinjia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Hello everyone. Today we are going to do something about raining because the spring is the raining season, right? We always got the raining day almost every single week because the grass, the plants, they need water. So that's why the weather is going to be raining. Okay, so we are going to do something about it. So when the weather is raining. What do you wear on your foot? The rain boots, right? So we are going to do the rain boot and umbrella for today. And you are going to add something tricky or something funny for your rain boot. So let's do our rain boot first. Okay. So I want you to borrow two fingers on the top, on the top of the paper. One dot. Okay, and see, we have the space almost at the middle, almost at the middle, but more close to the left. And two fingers on the bottom, one line. Okay, so we have two lines. Okay, so let's borrow the size straight over. About three fingers, and goes down. Don't touch the points yet. We need some small space because we are going to add a curve line. Okay. So again, on the other side, and you're going to shrink it. See. To get smaller and stop right here. Let's see the size. The top is wider. It's going to be smaller, smaller, and smaller until here. Then we are going to curve out and down and close. Okay. Then we need to have the double. Line on the bottom, and the raining day is very, very wet. It's very wet, so you probably will fall down if you have the shoes lap flat, right? So we have to add some texture. We are going to add the letter C on the bottom, so you are not going to slippery in the raining day, right? It's not going to be slip. Uh, slippery. So we are going to add some texture on the bottom. Okay. So how many we are need for the red boots? How many? We need one pair, two boots, right? So we finish one. Let's do one more time right here. A little bit lower. The same size and stop. Diagonal line goes down and stop right here. And curve going out and down and stop. She looks like the same. Okay, so make sure they look like the same. So double line on the bottom, adding the texture on the bottom. Let her see. Okay, so we finish the base of the rain boot. Okay, and now remember we are going to add in the umbrella. So we are going to write the letter V from here, higher than the boots, and about three fingers. One, two, three, another dot. Then all the way down, almost touch the rim boot, and add in the point. Straight, straight. Okay, and we have a、uh, bars right 
here a small small stick right here okay remember we have one two three and the last one's right here one two three okay so that's adding a curve touch touch and touch from the line going down from the line going down okay so you can write the letter j like the question mark or you can have just like a bar for your hand reel okay it's all by your choice what kind of hand reel you want to add even you can add something cute like the bar looks like a bunny like the bear like the froggy so but all by your choice okay why just like the candy cans how about yours okay now it's your time to start to decorate your boots and your umbrella so what do i mean by that you can add in the the ribbon or the belt for your red boot okay or you can add some graphics the dinosaurs the unicorns or the spots for your red boot okay so think about it what kind of rainbow you want to have okay so now it's your time to start to do the decoration for your rainbow and your umbrella So when you finish the decorate for your boot and the umbrella, now I want you to start to think something around. Okay? So let me make one tricky sample. Okay? I want to have a bunny, a bunny hiding in my boot. One of the boots, okay? Not two of them. So I have the bunny hiding in my ram boot. Okay, you don't have to copy and I wish you don't copy. I just want to add something that is coming from my own idea. So I want to do something belongs to you. Okay, so see something inside the boot, see something around. Okay, something relate or something is doesn't matter, you just like it. Okay, so now take your time to start to do your own background.
okay? Let's see how I did so far. So I'm not just adding a bunny inside my rainbows. I also added a bunch of the flowers, okay? A bucket so I can play with the water, okay? And the grass, the fresh grass. And of course, I got some pump, okay? Some water and some rocks. Okay, so hopefully my drawing is helping you to create something it belongs to you. You can see my other reference, but try not to copy anything from here. Okay, so create something that you really like. So what did you see in the raining day? Maybe a rainbow? Mm -hmm. Maybe a earthworm, right? Maybe, maybe something that I can think about okay so i believe you can create something even better now take your time to complete your background then we are going to have our middle break very soon okay before the break time we have to finish the tracing okay use the fine marker to trace the rim boot but you are not going to trace the pattern, the graphics inside the boots, okay? We only trace somewhere big, not somewhere small, okay? See, I'm not tracing the bubble I made. I only trace the, the biggest part. Even the texture, I don't trace it yet, okay? I only use the fine marker to trace somewhere big enough. Umbrella somewhere big, but I'm not going to trace the pattern inside the umbrella, right? So we only trace here. Okay, we're done with the fine mark. Okay, because rest of the thing is small, but you can trace the ground if you want to. If you have the ground, you can trace the ground. Okay. Then you can use the pencil crayon or thin marker to trace the rest of the thing, okay? Just like the fill, somewhere small, the texture, the graphics on the rim boots, okay? Now, go ahead and follow all the pencil line you made. Don't be rushed. Take your time to finish your awesome work. When you're done with the tracing, that's it. I use the fine marker to trace the rim boot and the umbrella and the ground, right? And rest of them, I use the thin marker to trace. So you see, now we got the focal point. I know the rim boots and the umbrella is the main subject on my joint, right? And rest of them, just the decoration. So you can keep your eye focused on the rim boot and the umbrella. Okay, so when we're done with the tracing, don't forget to use your eraser to remove all the pencil line to keep your drawing clean and neat and professional. We don't want to make our drawing look a little bit mess, right? Because we are not finished the cleaning of the paper. That's unprofessional. So that's make our drawing clean and neat. Okay, so we are going to have three minutes break time. Um, start for now and don't forget to come back later break time for three minutes during the break time you can go to drink some water or your juice and even you can have some snack 
It is also a nice time for you to go to the washroom and don't forget to wash your hand after you finish the toilet. And don't forget to move your body around. You can walk around jumping up and down and do some exercise for your body. And you also can look in out of the window, something far, far away to relax your eye. Using your break time wisely, okay? Do something that you should do right now and don't forget to come back later. Welcome back, everyone! Okay, so when you start to color, make sure you color like the solid color, okay? No color outside the shape, and all the coloring have to be smooth and neat, and play around with the color, okay? So you can use any color you want, don't limit yourself, okay? And be patient to finish the color. Okay, now you can start to do the coloring. And we will see what will happen at the middle.
So that's see how I did. I finished my color of my boot. See, even I add in the small, small detail. I separate the color. I didn't mix the color and blend in the color in one piece. Okay? So the bubble is a bubble. The boot is boot. Even the base, I use different color to do it. So like the rings for the belt, I use different color. So I want to be patient to color all the small area. All the small area deserve to have their own color. Okay? Don't be rushed. Take your time to complete your awesome work. Okay? Don't cross over with the color. So that it shows that you are so rushed. Right? We don't need a rush join. We need to have a nice coloring with a nice join. Okay? Now keep going. We are almost there. I finished my rim boots, I finished the umbrella, and I have the color all clean, okay? Nothing come out, no white spots. So that double check, do you have the white spot? If you do, you have to cover them. Does the color look separately? Okay, the small area got their own color, okay? So that's double check, and if you are all good, then you can keep doing to do the rest of them.
So when you complete your coloring, that's the b o for do you miss anything that you forgot to color? Okay, and let's see, do you have the messy color or the white spots? So cover them and try to make the coloring look better. Okay, so when you dump your drawing, find a spot to sign a name and write out the dates for today. Thank、you